Hello YouTube, this Skip, coming to you live, straight out of Real Hard Sick as Aquatic Kennels. Check out the humps on these guys. Before we get started with part 3 of this video series, I would like for you guys to direct your attention to the description area below this video where you will find links to purchase Real Hard Sickness products. In addition, there's a link to my other YouTube channel, The Ambassador of Aquatic Life, where I discuss other subject matters involving other hobbies, as well as fish keeping. So check it out. And remember, support the people who support you. Now, before we get into part three of this video series, it is very important that you watch part one and two if you haven't already. So that you will have a greater understanding of what I'm explaining here in part three. Now, at the end of part two, I explained to you guys that we're going to discuss in part three, the similarities between species, subspecies, and variants. Starting with the Amphilopus Amarillo, and go bog centronellums. Now while we take a look at some of these photos of Amarillo's, I have a disclaimer. I am not the author of some of these photos or video clips, nor do I claim to be. This is for research purposes only. Now let's dive right into it and you can hear the excitement in my voice. Right before you are photos of Amphilopus armorillos in different stages during their lifespan. These are adult armorillos, these are young adult armorillos, and you can see the difference in their color and patterns as we get deeper into this video series. This video was taken from the internet. Now, in my opinion, these are true Amphilopus armorillos. This female is displaying all the breed standards. This video was taken back in 2018 of my young Amphilopus Amarillo pair and me showing the different color variations utilizing crayons as demonstrable evidence. Here we have some photos of the Amphilopus Amarillo. Now some of these are great photos and great examples of the Amphilopus Amarillo. They meet the breed standards, but a lot of them Alright, and I'm not talking about the managuinces and other fish that just so happen to be in this photo clip. Basically what I'm saying is there are certain people that post videos and pictures online of so-called species, but they're mislabeled. A lot of times they're confused because they're so closely related, they don't understand the difference between the two species. But we all know nature causes everything to evolve and make changes through different stages until they reach perfection. Now in my opinion, the Amphilopus Amarillo and Gold Bard Centronellum or Midas is the exact same species, just different collection points. And I want you guys to really, really understand this. You should question anybody that tell you something without any documentation to back it up. And that's what I try to do every time I make these videos and share my opinions. So to bring this portion of part three of this video series to an end, to sum it up, the gold bar centronellums and the Amphilopus amarillos are the same subspecies. They have a common ancestor, that is the bar centronellums, but they're not different enough or separated enough from each other to be a standalone species. In fact, I'm going to show you some photos of the gold bar centronellums. And you tell me in the comment section what you think. This by the eye test. As promised, check it out. These photos are of the Amphilopus gold centronellums. And from looking at them, I don't see much of a difference between them and the Amarillo photos. In fact, I know some of you guys may say, well, you have to take a DNA test. DNA is about percentages. 
there is no way these two closely related subspecies will give us a definitive answer through DNA. Testing. Listen up guys as part three of this video series come to an end. The information and opinions that I have shared in this video is based on facts and demonstrable evidence. Understand this. I'm giving you stuff to think about and question so that you can do your own research. I don't want you to just take my word for it. I want you to find the truth for yourself. Believe me, by the end of this video series, we all are going to have a greater understanding of the Amphilopus species genetics and gene pool. So, in part four of this video series, we're going to talk about the Lady Adams Red Devil. And the difference between it and the Centronellum Midas. You're going to truly understand why I say genetics is like a thermometer. What does a thermometer do primarily? It reacts to its environment, period. And that's how I'm going to prove to you the Labia Adams Red Devil and the Centronella Midas is two separate species. And with that said, this skip, I'm out.